Hi traders on the forum and people that watch on YouTube as well. So just a quick update. I just finished six years on the AUD JPY daily. Um, didn't make as much as I did uh, on the NZUSD. That's sort of what it's looking like. I'll just go back from the top. All right. So you guys just tell a little read of it. <coughs> so red percentage, 69%. Okay. Um, keen observers will say reliability factor was that that was because what I did <clears throat> was I missed stuff when I was fatigued and you know, did I cheat? Well, you know, I don't really feel that I did, but you know, I'm trading a demo account as well, so just probably <laughs> you know trying to get enough sleep for you if you miss something and you it was one candle or so. And then you, you go back. So I didn't know if they would be runners or not. A lot of them weren't really runners with this. Um, I'll go to the statistics as well and we'll review that. So if we go down to the IRs. Uh, so I took two trades, obviously one with uh, just a one to one. And no moving of the stop loss to break even. The other one was um, open profit target and would move the stop loss each time a one R would, would be hit. So this one here was the only one really. And a lot of these were losses, which obviously I didn't enter a stop loss in for uh, profit target. Sorry, because there was no official profit target, but I entered the profit target where the stop was hit after the moving trailing exit was completed and hit. Okay, so equity curve. So a little bit of rough patch down here. Then I sort of go into the groove of things. And uh, what I'll do is I'll show some screenshots as well. So some losers and everything. That would be easier than posting statistics up. Um, I thought I had Google Docs that I could just import the data because it won't let me put an Excel spreadsheet up on the forum. So uh, screenshots of winning trades. You get to see my really creative nastiness that I do. Okay. No, there's swearing there, but I will. <laughs> If you don't like it, I mean, don't watch it. All right, so I'll move this out of the way. Okay, so that was where I took the buy. I don't think I can zoom in. We'll go full screen. All right, so if people aren't familiar with the double Bollinger Band alert method, so a signal is printed when it pierces the, the first DBB band, either, you know, reversing with a sell signal or a buy signal. So I got in, where did I get in here? I got in here, that was the signal. So I had an entry just on that, on the, the point of relevant resistance that recently happened. And then it went up pretty nicely. So <clears throat> I've written in, don't get involved with this shit when it's sideways, fuck up. So what that meant was probably clearing that. So I think I might have had a losing trade in here as well. By my profanities. Okay. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment, yeah. Will it open up on the other screen? Or will it open up on this screen? Let's see. Okay. Oh, smiley face is here. So, a little bit of price action confirmation there as well. That that really, I find, helps a lot. If there's like a big shadow and then a, a buy signal or a sell signal, then there's a very, very good chance that it will continue on. And I like this because, um, you know, that's boxed up that, that way. Again, I've you know that's probably the same profanity there, and then up again, uh, I missed a little bit of signal activity here. I think that might have been a I got in there, then bam, 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 and then coming back, and then off it goes. So that's that's pretty sweet. I think I got in probably around there, and that triggered me obviously, and then away I went. All right, let's go to some losing trades. All right, we'll go back. No, let's don't. Ah, okay. Fail reversal. Let's do this. Let's let's get into this. Woo! What a win like this. Messy charts. I should tag him too. Happy holidays, Walter. Check that shit out. <laughs> so it's up, down, up, down. Where did I get in? Here it is. Okay, here. And then it was in the midst of the madness as well. Look at that space to the left. 
non-existent. There's a lot of chop. <sighs> Price action, no. Yeah, so when James sort of introduced this, you know, the rules really are quite relevant when it comes to price action and the principles there. Obviously, you know, it doesn't have to be a big shadow or a kangaroo tail for a signal for an arrow to be printed, but take that into context with the situation behind, you know, what's going on there. All right, so we've got another losing trade. Does the AUD Let's have a failed reversal? Reversals I'm finding it quite hard to pinpoint. The trend stuff. I really trade a lot better than reversals and especially because if it's a strong trend it's quite hard to break it properly you know so I think I right, be careful when getting to reversal trade and be aware of the exhaustion signs recent support level was ignored also yeah so I think you really need a checklist that you need to go through before taking a trade because what will happen is you will see something go well yeah yeah nice like recent stuff was, was <clears throat> pretty aggressively downward but I didn't really look into the resistance uh, the support level there and it just sort of bam teased me and then closed me out again with that so and I don't necessarily have you know if I get a signal I won't have the stop loss run under it I might have it under you know a little bit of wick type back there and if it's too wicky as well like recent stuff I'll stay away that because you know if 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 the you know, the difference between your entry price and your stop loss is like over 200, I found. That was just, you know, a recipe for just letting it chop around, letting it whip, and just going on forever and accumulating swap, and it was it's not a mess. So probably avoid that. Um, let's have a little looky look at this. See what I, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Well, I think I just got unlucky here, really. You know, that's sweet. Slow down. Coming back up, not really strong price action. If there was like a big shadow and a little signal there, that'd have been sweet, in my opinion. But you know, you win some So I think that's unlucky. You know, for individuals who do trade this stuff uh, with the DBB alert indicator and the price action and their rules, just you know, comment and let me know what, what you think of that. Um, <clears throat> I had this, did I? Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. So what happened here? I got in there. Uh, then it kicks up. Yeah, I did. No, but behind it was a lot of choppy price action. Now would could have got in there, maybe there, but and then I went again. I noticed this candle here, and I really what I'll do is I'll do more screenshots of zoomed in positions. But that with the full body and with quite a long wick. It's pretty good. And how I would have played it there is price just above that wick there. Okay. That's my personal preference. That's you know what I would what I would do. Okay. And then yeah, just headbutt into resistance now. Alright, so just give you just an insight and here's the equity curve again. But that's how you know things pan out for me. So not as good as the NZ USD. But yeah, that's how things pan out. And hope everyone has a, a great holiday still. And I hope you enjoy watching it. Thanks guys.